So, you're either thinking about trying or are about to start Spervato. First of all, congratulations. It changed my life for the better and will likely do the same for you. And if you clicked on this video, then you likely have a lot of questions about it. At the time of recording this, I've done 20 treatments over the course of about six months. And in this video, I'm giving you my top 10 tips and tricks to prepare for and get the most out of each and every one of your treatments. And dare I say, have some fun while doing it. And as an added bonus, I'm gonna share with you some pretty crucial advice and walk you through kind of what to expect at your appointment and more importantly, during the treatment itself. But first, I am not a mental health or medical professional of any kind. And my advice and tips and tricks are based solely on my experience. Your experience may differ, but I have talked to other people who have done Spervato and our experiences have been pretty similar. So there's a good chance yours will be too. I'll put timestamps in the description to each chapter of the video so you can skip around and revisit things as needed. Okay, great. Let's move on. Let's start with a little bit about me. I've had treatment resistant depression for over 20 years. Like, I didn't even know who I was without depression. I also have a dissociative disorder, which is relevant because Spravato causes dissociation. One of the biggest concerns I see, and one that I had prior to starting treatment, was how bad is the dissociation gonna be? Am I gonna be stuck in a nightmare or reliving my trauma? I'm happy to report that 20 treatments in, I have never had an experience where I lost touch with reality or was reliving my past trauma. It's nothing like that at all. I'll go into what it is like for me a little later on in this video. The point is, I think it's safe to say that if anyone was going to dissociate to the point of losing touch with reality, it would be me. And that's never happened. I've made videos about every one of my Spervato experiences, which you can find in my Spervato experiences playlist. I highly recommend checking those out to get a more in-depth look into what the experience is like. When you watch those videos, you'll notice that I talk a lot about seeing things. Everything from skiing down a mountain with Timothy Chalamet to having the mysteries of the universe revealed to me. So let's talk a little bit about what that's like. What is it like? First of all, even in the midst of my most vivid visual experiences, I've never lost touch with who I am, where I am, what I'm doing, etc. When I talk about seeing things, it's with my mind's eye. It's like if you've ever done a guided meditation where you're instructed to visualize things. Like picture yourself walking through a dense forest. It's quiet and you can hear the wind in the trees. Maybe the sunlight is beaming through and warm on your face. And there's a gently moving stream running alongside you. You're seeing these things in your mind, not with your eyes. And you're still very aware of where you are and what you're doing. Well, seeing things during my Spervato treatments is a lot like that. But instead of having to construct scenes in my mind, the stuff is just there. And I just get to look around at it and experience it. I guess you could say it's similar to being able to shut your eyes and dream while you're awake. But there's no confusion about it. Like, what's the dream and what's reality? I've never lost touch with reality or what I'm doing or had anything bad come up. What Spervato is and why it works. Something I think is important to understand is what Spervato is and how it's different from antidepressants. 
because it'll help you to understand what's actually happening during your treatment. Spervato, or esketamine, is an FDA-approved treatment for treatment-resistant depression that's derived from part of the ketamine molecule. Very generally speaking, antidepressants work by increasing the amount of the neurotransmitters, serotonin, dopamine, and or norepinephrine in the brain. But Spervato increases the levels of glutamate, which is the most abundant neurotransmitter in the brain meaning it has a greater impact on more brain cells at one time. You'll get to experience just what that's like during treatment. Spervato also seems to have a growth promoting effect, which is really important because chronic or untreated depression can shrink the hippocampus by as much as 20%. But I won't continue to bore you with a lesson. Although this stuff is pretty interesting. Let's dive into some of my advice and tips and tricks for treatment with Spervato. Okay, so you've got the approval from your insurance and now you're looking for a place to do your Spervato treatments. My first piece of advice is to get a list of providers from your insurance and investigate them before committing to one for treatment. It seems like I got really lucky that the place I go to is really good. It feels like a spa and you have a tech that stays in the room with you the entire time. But some subscribers to the channel have had a completely different experience, where the treatment room appeared to be a storage closet with four other people doing Spervato and no one staying in the room with them. I would highly recommend you don't go to a place like that. You deserve to feel safe and cared for and tended to during your treatment. And there are a lot of great providers out there, but don't assume they're all created equal. But now let's say you've got a great provider and your appointment is scheduled. Here are some of my tips for preparing for treatment. Number one, create a playlist that's at least an hour and a half long of calming music, breathing exercises, guided meditations, etc. This is going to be your lifeline during treatment and help keep you grounded and focused on positive things. I have my own tried and true playlist, which you can use. And it has been helpful for other people, so it's not just me. It starts out with some breathing exercises and guided meditations. And then it goes into the Sigur Rose Voltari album, which is fantastic. I strongly advise against being on your phone and on social media during the treatment. I've tried that before and it didn't feel therapeutic at all. Do yourself a favor by taking an hour and a half out of that day to unplug and focus on you. Okay, so you've got your playlist ready and now it's the day of treatment. Tip number two. Make sure you eat something two hours before the appointment. Spervato can make some people nauseous. It never did for me, but because it can, you can't have anything to eat two hours prior to the appointment or have anything to drink 30 minutes prior. And this is just my advice, but if your appointment is early in the morning, I highly suggest waking up early enough to eat at least a little something because Spervato will make you ravenous. And I've regretted it every time I didn't eat something before because hunger can get pretty distracting. Tip number three, pack a healthy snack to bring with you to eat immediately after the treatment. Again, there's a good chance you're gonna be starving by the time you leave. So you're gonna wanna be prepared so that you don't opt for fast food or some other readily available garbage that isn't good for you. I'm guilty of getting donuts a few times and always regretted it. Tip number four, wear comfortable clothing that will keep you at an ideal temperature. You're probably gonna get hot for a little bit and then if you're like me and cold all the time, you're gonna wanna be prepared for that too. Wear layers. Double up on socks. Bring a blanket if you can. 
The clinic I go to has blankets, and the one you go to might as well, but just bring one in case they don't. Think of it as preparing to take a nap during your appointment. You're gonna wanna be as comfy as possible. Okay, so you've eaten two hours before your appointment, you've got your healthy snack packed and ready to go, you're in comfy clothes, and now you're on your way to your appointment. Tip number five, prepare your mind and body before the treatment. Because whatever state your mind is in going into the treatment is probably gonna carry over during the treatment. You will need a ride to and from the appointment, so spend your time on the way there doing breathing exercises or guided meditations. I usually listen to podcasts that I know are gonna make me laugh and put me in a good mood. So the best thing you can do is make sure you're as relaxed and stress-free and in as good a mood as possible going into the treatment. Tip number six, fill out a PHQ-9. I'll put a link to that in the description. Your provider might have you do this at the clinic prior to your treatment, but if they don't, make sure you do one before each and every one of your treatments. I cannot stress the importance of this enough. This is gonna be the best way for you to track whether or not your symptoms are improving and also monitor specific symptoms. Just trust me, do a PHQ-9 before every one of your treatments. You will thank me later. All right, so now it's game time. Tip number seven, right before you go in for your treatment, go to the bathroom. Spravato can make you feel like you have to pee, and trust me, you don't want to have to get up in the middle of your treatment to do that. Let's pause with the tips and tricks for a moment and go over how you take the doses of Spravato and what's likely to happen in those first 30 to 45 minutes. Spravato is administered through a nasal spray, which you will do yourself. And at your first appointment, they should give you a model of the nasal spray device for you to practice with. But in case they don't, here's what it looks like. Each device contains a total of 28 milligrams of Spravato, and there's two doses in it, one for each nostril. Before giving yourself the doses, there should be two green dots on it. And if you've administered it correctly, well, one, you should feel it going into your nose, and two, those green dots will turn white, and that's how you'll know whether or not you got the doses. So this would be 28 milligrams. You go up one nostril, up the other nostril, should have two white dots on it, throw it away. It's not hard to do, there's no trick to it, and there's not like a ton of liquid in it either. But make sure you don't half-ass pump it like I accidentally did at my last appointment because then the dose will end up mostly on your upper lip. You don't wanna do that. Typically at your first appointment, you'll receive a 56 milligram dose split between two nasal spray devices. So you'll get one and then about five minutes later, you'll do another one. You probably won't feel anything after the first dose or immediately after the second one either. You might feel a little bit of a buzz almost, like you've had a glass of champagne. I get really chatty after my doses. A few minutes after your second dose, you'll probably start to feel something because what's happening is your brain is suddenly flooded with glutamate. The best way I can describe what that's like is to imagine that your normal brain state is like a slowed down song that's always playing in the background. Spravato is like hitting fast forward on that song and speeding it way up to where you're like, okay, I can't even make out the words to this song anymore. And chances are that song is gonna change to ones that you've never heard before. And if you're like me, you'll start to have all of these deep thoughts and what feel like revelations about the meaning of life and the universe and the nature of existence. Or you might be visited by Timothy Chalamet. See my videos to know what I'm talking about. 
It doesn't stay like that for the whole treatment, but it is like that for a little while. And by this point, you should already have your breathing exercises and guided meditations or calming music going. And I've found that once things are really going with the medication, that it's really hard for me to focus my eyes on anything. Almost like if you've ever been really intoxicated and just can't see straight. It's kind of like that. You might also find that you're not able to feel your body very well, or that you feel kind of disconnected from it. That's just the dissociation. Nothing bad is actually happening. You're not leaving your body. And actually, this is something to look forward to, especially if you have chronic pain, because you will very likely be pain-free during the treatment. I love that part. As the medication is kicking in, things can feel pretty chaotic, but that's okay. That is totally to be expected. You've got nothing to worry about. Early on, I compared it to being in a small plane in heavy turbulence during takeoff, and you're just kind of hanging on until you reach that point where the plane levels out and things calm down and you're at cruising altitude. This is where your playlist is going to be your life raft. Doing my breathing exercises and guided meditations during takeoff 100% determines whether I'm going to have an anxiety-filled experience or the most peaceful, insightful, healing, and dare I say fun experience. It's gonna keep your mind focused on your body and your breath and keep you feeling grounded. And that's just for the first 20 to 30 minutes after your second dose. But after that, you're gonna be feeling pretty good. Tip number eight, be open to whatever experience happens on its own and trust that your brain knows what it needs. Another thing that really changed my Spravato experience for the better was to go into them with the goal of falling asleep. Yeah, taking a nap. What that's gonna do is help you to let go of trying to have a specific experience, which I've found gets in the way of having any kind of experience, and instead help you to let go and just surrender to what happens. The first time I did that, which was treatment number three, I had the most amazing experience. See my week two video. And I felt noticeably better after that treatment. But as I was making dinner that night, I suddenly had this moment of awareness and realized I feel better. I wouldn't say good, but I felt noticeably less terrible. I can't really explain it. I was hesitant to believe that anything had actually changed and I thought, okay, we'll see how long this lasts, but um, it stayed that way. I have felt noticeably less terrible since that third treatment. That first treatment at 56 milligrams is probably gonna feel really good. I remember feeling this degree of inner peace that I had never felt before. And it lasted for a few hours after my treatment. Your second treatment might be a bit of a different story. So let's talk about that. Typically, for your second dose, you'll do the standard maximum dose of 84 milligrams. So three of those nasal spray devices. This is gonna be a whole different experience. Like, oh. way more intense and disorienting in the beginning. I'm not telling you this to scare you because there is nothing to be scared about, but to prepare you so that you're not caught off guard or think that something is wrong because it is way more intense than last time. 
it's not uncommon for your first time at the maximum dose to cause some anxiety because it's pretty intense and likely unlike anything you've ever experienced. But I can tell you from my experience and my provider's experience and the experience of everyone I've talked to who has done Spravato, nothing bad is going to happen to you, even if your brain tries to tell you otherwise. I hope that by telling you this, that should you find yourself panicking, that you'll remember this and take some comfort from it. A couple of notes about treatment number two. If you're questioning whether or not you wanna continue the treatment after that session, that's okay. That's not uncommon. But here are some tips and things to keep in mind. Number one, that reaction isn't uncommon, especially if you had a really anxiety-filled experience. Number two, it is not going to be like that every time. You build up a tolerance to Spravato pretty quickly. So every time you go, it gets a lot easier and less intense. You'll be an old pro in no time. If 84 milligrams is just too much for you and causing way too much anxiety and might even prevent you from continuing the treatment, I have a couple of things to try first. First, try spacing out the doses a little more. Adding just a few minutes in between each one can help out a lot. I know this from experience. Second, if you really feel like you just can't do 84 milligrams, ask your provider if you can stick to 56 milligrams. That is an option. And just know that your first time at the maximum dose is the most intense it's going to be. It only gets easier from there. Trust me, you're gonna feel like an old pro in no time. Which leads me to my next tip. Tip number nine, make sure you're grounded before experimenting. There will come a time where you feel like an old pro and like you wanna branch out and try experimenting with a few things during treatment. Maybe some different guided meditations or not doing your breathing exercises and guided meditations. Just make sure you take the time to get grounded before doing any of that. I've made that mistake a few times and have been left scrambling, trying to get my breathing exercises and guided meditations going so I can calm down. Oh no, oh no. I don't know what to do. Ah. And that's pretty much it for my tips and tricks during treatment. So let's move on to after and during the course of your treatment. Tip number 10, do things that make you happy for the rest of the day and stay away from the negative. Remember, part of what Spravato is doing is regrowing parts of your brain. So do it and yourself a favor by keeping things positive. For me, that meant staying away from true crime content, the news, and politics. Chances are you're gonna feel really sleepy for those first two to three hours after the treatment, so feel free to take a nap. Or maybe journal, do some of your hobbies, play with your pet. Just things that are light and easy and will keep you in a good mood. Here are some things to keep in mind throughout the treatment. Number one, it's pretty common for people to not notice improvement until after their first month of treatment. So do not get discouraged if you're three or four weeks into it and haven't noticed anything. Also, remember that everyone is different, so don't expect results according to anyone else's timetable. I started noticing results pretty quickly, and you can actually see that in my Spravato videos. Link in description. Number two, don't worry if you notice a dip in your mood each time you decrease the frequency of your treatments. A typical course of treatment is that for the first month you'll go twice a week, 
the second month you'll go once a week and then the third month and however long beyond that you'll go once every other week if you notice a dip in your mood when this happens don't panic it's normal it happened to me it happens to lots of people it is temporary and it's also not severe it's just you might notice like I don't feel as great as I was this last month. Whenever this happened, it was really helpful for me to have my PHQ-9 scores and to do a PHQ-9 so that I could see that, okay, even though my mood feels slightly worse based on my PHQ-9 score, my symptoms aren't actually getting worse. And my very last piece of advice is to go ahead and feel hopeful that you're gonna feel better soon. I am blown away at how different I am and how different my life is Happy New Year. since starting Bravado. I never thought I would have results like this, but I did. It changed my life. And you have every reason to believe that it could happen for you too. I think that's it for my advice and tips and tricks for you guys. Boy, I hope I didn't forget anything. I am always here for you if you have questions. And we've got a really great community of nice people and Spravado pioneers here on this channel. So don't hesitate to turn to the comment section of these videos because there's a lot of great stuff and great people there. If you liked this video or found it helpful in any way, please consider liking it. It helps me out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos from me. I also do videos on other interesting topics, so you might want to check those out. Thanks for watching and good luck. Now it's supposed to feel